Okay, we have here n is a positive integer, and column a, the remainder when n is divided by 5, and in column b, the remainder when n plus 10 is divided by 5. So we can work around with some numbers here. We can say, well, what if n is 5? Well, 5 divided by 5 leaves no remainder. What happens over here? Well, 5 divided plus 10 divided by 5 also leaves no remainder. You can notice that they cancel out nicely here. And so no remainder. But does that always hold true? So you can use run a little experiment here and say, well, what if n is equal to 8? There's a remainder of 3. Plug 8 in there. 18 divided by 5 is also 3. And the key here is that 5 and the 10 is always going to cancel out, leaving no remainder. And therefore, because we distribute that 5, or we can rewrite this as n over 5 plus 10 over 5, because this will never leave a remainder, essentially it's identical. And therefore, the answer is C.